Roberts and I'm here at Lost Dutchman State Park. I do not need to wear a mask because I'm standing six feet away from my recorder. On today's edition of Sonoran Desert Spotlight, I will be talking to you about black widows. So today I'm going to be talking about two different black widows that I have here today. This one right here, um, which died of natural causes, is in, um, it's a southern widow. You can tell by the red and white markings on the back that it was a juvenile. Um, it wasn't a full adult yet. And um, you know it's a female because underneath it still has the hourglass symbol which they are known for. In this jar, as you can tell, we have a live, full-grown, mature adult female black widow. Uh, she does have brownish black coloring with a red hourglass marking underneath her abdomen. Uh, they spend most of their time hanging upside down in their webs. They can lay up to 750 eggs in nine egg sacs in one summer. And their average lifespan is anywhere from one to three years, which it's longer in captivity. Um, at two to four months old, they are mature enough to breed. And six to nine months, they are fully mature. Uh, they do contain a very potent neurotoxo venom, um, which can uh, cause us humans a lot of pain, nausea, goosebumps, and localized sweating. Females usually eat the males after courtship, and when feeding, they usually bite their prey and wrap it in silk. So you can see it's kind of what she's working on doing with the other spider here in the jar. There are five types of black widows that we have here in the United States. The red widow, the brown widow, the western widow, the southern widow, and lastly, the northern widow. So black widows love to hide in really dark, small cracks, crevices, walls, all those places that you may stick your hand into and not know that they're there. So, you know, just be aware, use a flashlight when looking in dark areas. Uh, don't necessarily feel the need to squish them. They are living creatures as well, uh, but they can be very harmful. Uh, so just make sure that you're keeping an eye out for them. They're not necessarily aggressive creatures. You really have to provoke them to get them to want to bite you. If you have any more questions or comments about black widows, please be sure to like and drop a comment or question below. We'd love to hear from you. And again, thanks for tuning in today with Ranger Roberts at Lost Dutchman State Park. Yeah.